so the EV event is over. I ended up with one shiny EV out of all that, but I'm okay with that because it ended up being a female and with IVs in the 90s. So that's gonna become my shiny Umbreon. So I'm quite happy about that. I'm not that disappointed that I didn't get the others because I'm in no hurry to get them. I wouldn't want to evolve them anyway until I know if there's gonna be a sure way of getting the evolutions that you want. I'm still keeping my fingers crossed that evolution stones are coming with Generation 4. Here's hoping, because the way it is right now, if you've already used the name trick on your Eevees, which I have done, so I don't want to evolve any EVs really right now because I'm still waiting to know if there's gonna be a, a better way to guarantee the evolutions. Espion and Umbreon are okay since there are ways. I mean, they're not part of the random. You can't get them at random anyway, as far as I know. So, they're okay. There are ways to evolve into those, but there needs to be tricks to choose the re uh, evolutions, the other three evolutions going into work today. I'm really tired. I'm really not feeling up to it. My back hurts a bit and I've got a headache. So I'm not exactly looking forward to working, but that's just the way it is. You can't look forward to working every day. Most of the time I don't mind, so also, it's gotten chilly. It's still raining. And that's great. There is a risk, though, that now it's gonna be raining for three months straight. We'll just have to see. Work has calmed down, though, since all the tourists have gone home. So it's going to be until the next paycheck, and then it's probably going to pick up again. Because right now, people have spent all their money on their vacations. So they're waiting for the next paycheck as well. So there is a new trailer for Miraculous out for the upcoming episode. Uh, the one where we finally get to see Queen Bee. And I'm really looking forward to it. It is interesting though, because it looks, from the trailer, like Ladybug Marinette is actually the one to choose Chloe for the Bee Miraculous. Which is something that I never thought would happen. The relationship between Marinette and Chloe are so toxic that I didn't think Chloe would ever cross her mind when it comes to wielding a miraculous. But Chloe has redeemed herself a little bit lately. So that might be why. Also, it seems like her mother is going to be the villain, so that might play into it also. I hope she's not going to get it permanently at this point, because I really want Alia to get 
the Fox Miraculous permanently first. Because that would make more sense to me. But... We'll have to see. I'm not sure when the episode comes out. I'm gonna have to look that up when I get home. But I really hope Alia will get to keep her Miraculous permanently before Chloe does. Because she's already been allowed to use it on several occasions. So it would make sense for her to be allowed to keep it permanently. I'm not sure why she hasn't yet. But I suppose we'll have to see. I'm sure there's a good reason. Another dark evening. I'm seriously thinking of finding something else to have on camera on my way home because it's only gonna get darker and I can't exactly have the light on inside the car I'm not even sure that's allowed so I need to find some kind because I'm getting frustrated editing these evening with videos because I can't see shit. Anyway, they took away the barbecue ban this afternoon. It stopped being in effect at about 4 p.m. and it showed. It showed a lot. We've had a very quiet evening, let's just say. Because people haven't been allowed to have barbecues all summer. So I know there were several people who decided that we're gonna have a barbecue no matter the weather. Even if it's pouring rain, we're gonna have our barbecue because we haven't been allowed to all summer. I can sort of understand them, but I would still wait until a day when it's a little bit warmer, because I'm sure there's gonna be a few more days at least with a little bit warmer weather. I know one of my bosses, he said, we're gonna have a barbecue tonight, even if the rain is pouring down. We're just gonna have to put up an umbrella or something, because we're gonna have this barbecue. I know it's been getting on people's nerves, this ban. But, on the other hand, it's been necessary. There's been enough fires going around Sweden as it is without the risk of people setting their gardens on fire because they were, weren't careful. Okay, our hot water boiler is shot. D and my father-in-law are going in to buy a new one today. Came home last night and was told that, I'm sorry, but we have no hot water. Wonderful. Anyway, I'm going to work to see if we can manage lunch today because Apparently everything we're having for lunch today needs the ovens and we've only got a limited amount of ovens. So that's gonna be fun. 
It's been a long, long day today. To start off, since our water boiler broke yesterday, we had a lot of hassle with that. Or not me because I was at work, but the others at home had a big hassle with it. And when I got home last night, it still wasn't working. And I was told, straight up, yeah, just so you know, the electrician who's gonna come actually uh, plug it in to make it work arrives at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning and my only reaction was oh great lovely since I don't start work started work today until 2 p.m. so there was literally no other reason for me to be awake at 7 a.m. but I was and we got it fixed, so it should be working now. It was working when I left home. And it should be finished heating now so that I can actually get in the shower tonight. So already there, it's been a long day. I must have had work at 2 p.m. and. Nothing really off about that until we started wondering where the third person to work the evening shifts was. She was supposed to show up somewhere between 4 and 4.30 p.m. because she's got another job. So she needs to, t she's often not there until 4.30 because she needs to get there from her other job, which is perfectly fine. We know that. But the clock kept ticking and it became 5 p.m. and 5.15 p.m. and we were getting really, really irritated. So in the end, my co-worker sent her a text asking where she was. And it turned out that she had completely missed the fact that she was supposed to be working today. She did show up eventually. She came in at about 5.40, something like that. And, well, sure, we managed. No real problems, but it's still annoying. And then we had to tell her that, no, it's fine, it's, it happens, because there is no real way for us. We, we shouldn't be the ones to make a problem out of this. It should be our bosses. So hopefully one of them will talk to her at some point. Because, I mean, we were given the summer schedule way ahead of time, and this week's schedule has been the same ever since then. So, it's literally just read the schedule, see when you're working. There's that. So, I, I was incredibly annoyed for several hours while we waited for her 
And now I'm just tired. I got in the car and I felt like, no, I, I don't want to sit down because I'm tired. Which means I'm doing this instead, which keeps me talking, which helps a lot. So you, it's either keep talking or put music on and sing as loud as you can, which also works. Okay, so I got a suggestion a bit back about watching an anime called My Love Story, or Ore Monogatari as it's originally called. And I went ahead and watched the first episode while waiting for the next Angels of Death episode. And I gotta be honest, I don't think that show is for me. So far I've only watched the first episode, but... I'm sorry, but I just couldn't get into it. The main character is adorable. He is so clueless and just wants love, but he is also so stupid and blind, and I spent a lot of the episode just getting annoyed at him. That being said, I'm not above giving things a second chance, so I might go ahead and watch at least a couple more episodes this weekend and see if it catches my interest more, but from the first, because I generally try not to judge a show from the first episode alone. But if it continues in the same manner, I'm probably not going to finish it. And I'm sorry to everyone who likes this show, but I just don't think it's for me from what I've seen so far. I mean, a clueless protagonist can be funny, but there is a limit to how far you can take it before it just becomes ridiculous and annoying. And in the first episode, that's what this show did. There is every sign that the person this girl is interested in is the main character, not his friend. And while I can see why he might think it at the beginning, I mean, she makes it pretty obvious and he still doesn't get it. Even a little bit. He doesn't even start to wonder. And that's kind of what did it for me. I mean, usually, You at least start to doubt your first instinct in this situation. She, she quite cleverly sets up a meeting for them and then rushes after them to get his mail address. Not his friends. She doesn't even ask for his friend's mail address. She asks for his and his only. And that should have tipped him off at least a little bit. Because if she was actually interested in his friend, then she should have at least asked for his mail address as well. She could have asked for both of them 
in that situation and it would have made total sense. But she doesn't. And he's, st he's still convinced that she's interested in his friend. So, I don't know, it just, he, he annoyed me, mainly. So, like I said, I will watch at least one or two more episodes just to give it a second chance, but unfortunately I don't think it's a show that I can get into because of this. Thanks for suggesting it anyway, because I'm always up to giving things a chance and trying out new series. That's... I mean, you can't find the gems if you don't try everything out, but in this case it just didn't work for me. So instead I started watching ReZero gotten about 10 episodes down of that in the past two days because there is a ReZero crossover event in Mabinoge right now and I hadn't watched the show so I had no clue who the characters were and how they related to each other and who that adorable little cat spirit was. Now I know Puck is adorable in any form, but so I, I had to uh, look it up to get a little bit of context with the event. I like to do that because since you get stuff related to the anime in these crossover events, I like to know at least a little bit about the story and the characters. And that show actually caught my interest a lot more. So that's the one I continued watching in my downtime. Anyway, thanks anyway for the suggestion. And keep giving me suggestions. Uh, just don't expect every suggestion. I'm, I'm gonna try to at least give every suggestion I get a chance. But there's gonna be shows where it just doesn't work for me. And that's fine. There, there are a lot of shows out there and a lot of different people enjoying them and different people enjoy different things and you never know until you try it out so okay I'm going into town to pick up Dee's phone he's at work so I'm gonna pick up his phone and then I'm gonna go into a slightly bigger town Go to the electronics store a little bit, and then I'm gonna go to one specific Pokestop. Because we got word that the Spinda Quest showed up, and we've been looking for it since release, and it just hasn't shown up. We were talking about maybe going in tonight, me picking. D up when he's off work and going in together tonight since the quest stays until midnight but I figured I might as well get into the electronic store as well 
see what they have, check around a bit. That means I need to do it earlier because obviously I need to do it when they're open. It's kind of a given. But I promised that if I go in earlier, I would stop by and pick up his phone so that he can get the quest as well. And honestly, that's fine with me. It also means that after doing this, I can go home and sit down and record in peace and quiet without having to keep looking at the time to know when I need to leave to pick him up. So, I've got quite a few hours of recording ahead of me when I get home. Oh, there's the ice cream truck. Not stopping to buy ice cream right now, though. Because having that in the car for that long would probably cause it to um, be a gooey mess when I get home with the risk of having that gooey mess all over my car. No thank you. Phone pickup done. Next stop, the electronics store. In about 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes or something. And I actually reached that town. On my way home, got way later than I was planning. But ended up taking quite a stroll in a slightly bigger town because I needed to walk my shiny Eevee in preparation for making it an Umbreon. I also needed to walk my Magikarp on my second account because I met the uh, mythical research where I need to evolve it and I'm not even close to the amount of candy I need. Ended up getting a few new dex entries, which is always nice. It's good XP. It's unfortunate that I didn't have a lucky egg running. And then I went in to return Dee's phone and grab something to eat before going home. And then when I was going home, there was a raid at one gym, which we took. Dee took a smoke break and we took that together. And just as he's gone inside with his phone, there's another raid showing up. And I was not about to go back into his work to get his phone, just to then go and return it again. No thank you. So, while I do need 10 raids on my second, second phone, my second, uh, that account for the mythical research, I did end up logging into D's account and doing the raid with that because he would probably be pretty annoyed with me if I didn't. And besides, since I've got to collect the Magikarp candy anyway, there's gonna be time to do those 10 raids. I need, I think I need seven at this point. So there's gonna be time. I did get the Spinda quest, 
I got uh, and I on both counts and these and I finished it but I haven't caught it yet I I am going to catch it on my second phone but on my main phone I think I'm gonna keep it for a while It did make for some hilarious and adorable AR pictures, so I might just keep it for a bit, bring it around with me, take a few pictures. I just recently discovered the fun in AR pictures, because on my old phone, where I started playing, AR that didn't work for some reason so it's pretty new to me being able to use it so the first ever AR picture I actually took was my Mew and that wasn't even with the in-game camera that was just taking a screenshot so I did take a few fun AR pictures today. I have Spinda then wingling about on a table, for one thing. So that's gonna be fun to look through. I'm gonna take some other AR photos as well at some point, whenever I find something that's picture worthy so to speak also we did our first Reggie Rock raid this morning I was exhausted I had just woken up I hadn't gotten around to drinking my coffee yet and Dee was just like are you awake enough to drive no I'm not so he drove in his little green uh, moped car. So we managed that and we got it. Both of us got it. Or, hold on, no, D didn't get it. I got it on both accounts, but his ended up running away. That's right. He was not happy about that at all, but I mean, there's not a lot I can do about it. We're just gonna have to give it another shot and another day. The sky is completely pink. I wonder if we're gonna get thunder tonight. I kind of hope so. It would be nice. On my way home, dropped D off at work because there was a Reggie Rock raid going on just as he was starting work. So, dropped him off, took his phone and did the raid for us. Got it, luckily since he didn't get one yesterday. Now I'm going home. So I'm gonna sit down to record for a bit. And then I'm gonna go in this afternoon to pick D up. Because we're going into Going back into the bigger town where I was yesterday to go hunting for a bit and keep our fingers crossed for a Marowak raid that we're actually able to participate in to give us the chance to actually get it 
Also, I discovered yesterday the fun of AR pictures. It's really, really fun. I have a feeling I might just spam my Instagram with it just to show off the pictures I've taken during the day. Might be a good use for my Instagram page actually because it's barely being used. I did upload my Spinda photos on it yesterday or la late last night. So and it's fun. You can get some really fun photos from it. I never knew that. I know I'm late to the party, but well. Going in to catch our X-ray. D had to drive on his own because he has to go get into work for a few hours afterwards. Because one of the girls who's working today is sick. Got a bit of a headache, but it's probably going to be fine anyway. Going in for my third Mewtwo. Hopefully I get a good one out of this. Did a few trades this morning as well. Got a few lucky Pokemon out of it. Got a lucky Dratini for one. So I'm really happy about. And a lucky Snorlax. That Dratini is gonna be uh, the one I evolve and power up as my Dragonite. So. Going home after a quite successful day. I just hope my phone battery doesn't die on me on the way home. Because I didn't bring my power bank, which was incredibly stupid of me. But I was just going in for the X raid. Then I was gonna get something to eat, and then I was gonna go home. And then it turned out Dee didn't have to work all evening. He only had to work for about an hour, an hour and a half maybe. So he ended up calling me. I sat talking to a friend after the x-raid and he ended up calling me, telling me to wait and he would get off work. So we did that. Also, speaking of the x-raid, I'm very proud of me. My second phone now have a 100% IV Mewtwo. It took me by surprise. I pulled up the appraisal and it went it just went, yeah, it's a wonder. It's HP defense attack hold on now. Exceeds expectation. Okay, wait just a second. Went in, double checked the IVs. Yep, it's 100% Mewtwo. Not optimal movesets, but I mean, that's easily fixed these days. So I got, have quite a few TMs lying about. So, gonna get on that. I have no idea why my 100% tend to end up on my second account, though. 
I don't really understand it. So after that we ended up getting one more small raid, just me and Dee, and then go to eat. We ran into my old bosses, actually. My old bosses from over a year ago. We kept in contact since then. So we ran into them and they were also going to eat, so we ended up eating together. Which was fun, catching up. As we're eating, there's another raid announced to start. So we ended up doing that too before going home. The Tyranitar raid. And now I'm going home to get this thing finished up in editing and edit a few other things because I gotta work again tomorrow. It's been a fun weekend of a lot of Pokemon Go. <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> 